Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Stationeers. You gotta admit, you gotta enjoy the sun in this game. Uh, as you can see by the upper right, uh, I do have some issues I have to deal with today. Uh, there's actually a lot of things I want to do. I want to try to get automation, mining, all that stuff. Uh, been thinking about this thing here. I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. I also do want to get some. Uh, I want to get some life support going. I've got to get some food production going, but uh, fortunately, at the, currently, I won't be able to get a greenhouse set up because I'm nowhere near getting any type of gas situation going because I need steel, which I need iron and coal for, and uh, I'm almost out of jetpack fuel, too. Uh, I was working around with this for now, and then I realized my food situation's kind of off, but um, I'm not sure what it is that you smelt, but when you smelt certain things, you get... Uh, propellant, uh, jetpack fuel, so I'm going to be using that to top up my jetpack, uh, but before I do that, i got to address my food situation. Uh, as far as research goes, I have been going through the other machines to see if I actually have it unlocked or not. I've got, I think I've got the, the pipe bender up here already, you know, I set it up over there. Uh, so basically, if I don't see it in any of these machines, then that means I don't have it researched, so I don't want to be printing it in the fabricator unless I absolutely need to, even though I'm going to be using this for all my printing. But uh, enough chit-chatting, we've got to make a couple of things. We've got to make one, an organic printer, and that's just to make food, but actually I do have some food here. Uh, I got food, I can eat it raw, but I can cook it with a microwave, which gets me... I think the baked potato gets me like 80% of a meal, so that's some food for now. Uh, pumpkin pie is a little bit of work, but I have going, been going into it. We can make things like flour and different types of food, so we're going to get into that. But two things we actually need is we need a workbench and we need a microwave. Now, I know it's all under organics here, so let's go in here and see what we have. I don't have much gold, so I don't know how much research I'll be able to do. We go to organics, and then uh, we have cuisine, so I need the microwave. So I need to buy one of these, or make one of these. And then i got to make two of them, because I need this. And then I think... And i just got to find out where the workbench is, because I have to actually mount the microwave on a workbench. So I'm going to do a quick look for this. I could probably look up on the wiki. And I might actually do that. So give me one second here. After some struggle trying to find the, the workbench in the wiki, it turns out it's actually under furniture. So I think I do have that already unlocked. I was trying to figure out where it was in here. So I have to, I have to make three of them. Now the question is, do I have enough to actually make them? Uh, I think... Oh. And of course, an auto save just in time. There we go. Alright, let's close that, turn it on, and see how much we... Oh, it was already selected. I need six gold. I don't know if I have six gold. Let me through here. Uh, five. Uh, I guess I gotta go through my mining belts and see what I got. Maybe I have enough. Uh, needless to say, I need all three things unlocked, do I? Yeah, I need the microwave, I need the food, and I need the organics printer. So I gotta find some gold. I'll be right back. Okay, I was able to get enough to make 10. Uh, just to the right of the miner, there's actually a whole bunch of gold. So we'll get to that in a second. A little bit here. I do want to get some research taken care of. Uh, I'm actually going to survive by the looks of it. Actually, I might have to stack these by the looks of it. Yep. Uh, can't wait to get to like shoots and conveyors and all that stuff going. And let's go ahead and actually start researching these now. Go ahead and hit that button. And it's going to take a couple of minutes. Uh, I'll bring you back if I'm still alive. Okay, so the first five are done. Uh, so I'm going to start the, doing the other five. And while that's going, we're going to go ahead and unlock furniture. I uh, don't know about that yet. Let's get a little organics. Let's get the organic printer for now. Foods. And... Cuisine. Now I have three left. Uh, this is what I'm gonna have to get into for uh, like gases and stuff like that. It's part of hydro hydroponics. Uh, let's see if there's anything else here we quickly need. Uh, still got a little bit of health left. Actually, you know what? Do that later. Uh, so let's go ahead and print stuff since I have everything in here. I should actually get to get the iron and everything else out of here. Okay. 
uh, yes, I am going to be having some sort of recycling system to allow me to move things between different machines. Okay, so we need we need one furniture kit. Let me get in a little closer here. Okay. Furniture. And then we need an organics printer. I tried to click on the, the bar instead of using... Oh, it moved on me. Instead of scrolling because of uh, the clicking sound. Cold. I guess I gotta go do some more mining then. Uh, lead and electrum. I need more gold. Alright, well, uh, I still have some jetpack fuel. I'm gonna try to take care of that. If I have to eat a potato raw or something, I will. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've just made the Electrum. So what I've done is I've actually got this set up with, uh, uh, with a valve. Actually, you know what, let me get this out before it cools down. Because I did have to get a specific pressure and temperature to make the Electrum. So yeah, so I fired it up and I had about a little over 4,000, a uh, little over 4 megapixels or, or mega, megapascals or 4,000 kilopascals. And the temperature was like, a thousand or something like that so the temperature was okay but the pressure was too high so i had this set up and then what i was doing is i was setting up the i got up excuse me let me turn the light on i don't mind the noise that's me not having a jetpack uh but yeah so i got a, a volume pump here and a pressure valve pressure regulator here so the volume pump is actually pumping out of the system the valve uh just basically shuts it off and then the pressure regulator uh i don't know what the actual pressure i need is but i said 4000 at a max pressure and so when it fills up the can canister that it shouldn't take more than 4000 psi now let's actually bring up my suit again oh it's not there never mind i ah, see that there we go let's see if that actually did anything 3800 so just me making 20 units of electrum got me jetpack fuel a full tank too just about uh, I think the can the pressure on these canisters is considerably higher but you start with 4700 so that's what I go with so yeah uh, definitely after I get into a collection system I'll probably get to pump this into a tank so in that way I always have a place to store my fuel or get fuel so I need I needed an electrum for something what did I need it for uh, organics printer all right, Electrum, uh, gold should still be in here. Nope, it's over here, because I already made the gold. Uh, yeah, turn that off for now, and all I got left to do is smelt some lead. I never did that, but I think the lead goes by pretty quick. We'll see. But yeah, uh, all the gases you can actually get for it, you really should be putting this in a room with a, an intake valve and going from there. But uh, let me finish printing up everything here. I'm waiting on that lead, and then after that, what did I make? I made the furniture kit already. I made the organics printer, so now we got to get the microwave. And something tells me I might have to go look for some more gold. Uh, if I do, I might just actually... It wouldn't be in here. It'd be further down, because it's not a kit. It's in here somewhere. I know it is. There it is. Microwave. Uh, oh yeah, you're not going to show me the recipe until it starts printing, so I'll be back. Oh, look at this. I'm having power issues. And that's just because I need to increase that transformer a little bit. Uh, where is that coming off of? Uh, let's see, that is coming up here, so let's see what we have this set to. Uh, 4500. Ooh. Alright, that means I'm just going to have to put it onto another grid fairly simple i think the battery still have the battery charger is going too so that doesn't help much uh research machine can be turned off for now and i know i don't need the lights but we'll work that out anyway i'll be back actually it was done as soon as i said i'll be back so there's a microwave there is a furniture there is a or the organics printer and furniture the desk uh, the bench uh so yeah i want to start getting the machine set up too eventually but for now just for the time being until i'm a little more situated i do need to get some stuff in place oh yeah it's not a bench that's a chair uh, this does need power too so 
Let's put it here for now, and then the organics pre printer. Never actually seen this thing before. And go here. Somewhere. Let's put it over here. Sure, because I got power there, power there. Uh, let's actually go charge that. Uh, I also didn't know that the drill actually had a battery. I went to go use it to move the, the pumps around, and it's like, oh, yeah, the battery's dead. Wait, has a battery? Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to charge my light. I need to make a few more of those, too, but I think I need steel and electrum and all the good stuff. Okay. This looks like a popcorn machine. Cool. And workbench, we go ahead and place uh, the microwave on top. Um, oh, yeah. Got to do it this way, I think. Something like that. And we just use a wrench to attach it. All done. All right, uh, let's put... Actually, I'm going to need the wire cutters. I need the wire cutters. A wire. And let's go ahead and start wiring this up. As soon as I get my keys right. Oh, I had it. You get the idea. Okay, I'm all done. So, uh, let's have a look at this thing. First of all, let's uh, turn it on. Got power, good. Uh, build wheat, corn, ferns, fertilized egg. Oh, I can put the dyes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's print a potato. Now, it also gives me an option to see, or a chance to see how much these batteries will use. It's not even touching the batteries. Wow. It's supposed to use like 100 joules. Is there a progress bar? There is. All right, so let's take a little bit of time. So let's run over here, actually. Let's go fly over here. The luxury of flight again. It's great. And grab some potatoes, actually. Uh, uh, excuse me, I take those. I really gotta do something with those things. Let me go down here, take the jetpack off, we gotta turn the table on. And then we gotta turn the microwave on. Creating unknown. Yeah, let's turn it off first. We'll add one unit. Oh. Alright, let's uh Oh, did I just... Uh-oh. I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah. I messed up. I should have closed it. But this is going to go ahead and print potatoes indefinitely. Uh, it seems to just spit them out, so I might have to get like a conveyor or something for them to roll onto. Let's try this again. If I do not clear it, I close it. That should be fast, too see how much food we get out of this. It's supposed to give me like 0.8 of a meal and it shuts off automatically. Okay. So I'm at 17%. That's what I like too, is you can eat partial of it. So that was three quarters. 80%, that's actually pretty good. Now I can find a way to automate that, that'd be great. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, so that is that part. So I've got food, I got uh, food, fuel, yes, that's what I was actually thinking about. Next is going to be the life support. But at the same time, too, i got to get some mining going. Uh, I want to see what I have for iron first. I'm going to finish up this floor, and then we'll continue on. Okay, I'm back, and I'm also stuck. And I'm up in here. Good thing I have a jetpack. That's got fuel in it, anyways. i put a stack around here just to make things a little bit easier. Um, Yes, building, making things in these machines is a lot faster than the fabricator. The problem with the doing it here is to do it endlessly. At least in the fabricator, you can specify what you want to do, uh, how many you want to do. So what uh, I'm going to do, first of all, I did find out about the, the microwave. Uh, apparently, you can only make one meal at a time. Uh, if you put more than one potato, for instance, it'll make an unknown dish and then it'll be gone. So I have to actually cook the potatoes one at a time. They don't stack, but that's fine because... 
that's basically two meals so it's not like I have to use that very often uh, but anyways uh, what I want to do is I want to get some tank areas set up too uh, basically to be having I'm thinking the base right up to about here about one block from the edge that I have here let's get the light on since I've charged it so I want to have the tank storage in the back here and I'm thinking I'm making 25 of these three I might actually go four or uh, three that's four that's gonna be eight What's that? that's nine actually uh, so I'm gonna do an area like three by nine now we're just gonna be the one tank for now just until I start getting everything produced I'm not gonna worry about the oxygen at the moment because I still have that portable tank more or less filled I've only used it once my oxygen's not too bad I'm still alive that is uh, so yeah oh, I saw that coming I'm gonna fill this in just with the the one there it doesn't have to be complete because I don't plan on making this airtight I do plan on pressurizing this area eventually and we may have a store uh, second or third floor uh, let me get that finished and uh, bring you back I also did make uh, everything I need for I uh, made a couple of pressure regulators, some more pipes, made a tank, and whatnot, so I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start getting these tanks set up. I went ahead, as you can see, printed up a whole bunch of cable, because we're going to need it, too. Uh, i got to split the uh, transformers up a little bit, because I have been, again, getting light flickering. Alright, so let's go ahead and we're just going to place a small tank here. We're not going to place the big one, uh, just because I need five kits, and that's expensive. Okay, let's see what we have here. Is there actually, I can't remember if there's an in and an out. There's data, there's pipe. I don't think it really matters, I think it's all controlled by, uh, by the pumps. So, do I want it here? You know what, let's actually move it back a little. Uh, handrail. You would think that would be a wrench, but no, no. Uh, I also have to get the... The furnace thingy, uh, not the arc furnace, the other furnace, the one we use the volatiles for. And that's just for, hang on, I'll get there, I'll get there, I'll get there. Uh, hang on. I was rambling about something, I can't remember what it was, I think it was something to do with uh, making jetpack jet pack propellant, but uh, at the same time too, I can have the, uh, the arc furnace, the electric one, in a room with a an intake or an, an active passive vent with a volume pump and pressure regulator to pump out all the stuff that gets smelted through the arc furnace as well. Uh, the arc furnace technically faster. The the other one though I actually need for making alloys. So we'll probably work this in all together and let's get some light going. So uh, what we need to do is we need to get a pipe in place first because I noticed that you can't actually place these valves and regulators and all that stuff directly onto things. So there's going to be a pipe. Uh, I don't need a filter for this. Now that I realize it, I do have to get another pipe on this side too, just for... Oh no, not just a pipe. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on, I think I know I'm doing wrong here. I think I have to tee off of this. Yeah. Let me figure out what I'm doing here and I'll bring you back. Okay, I did figure it out. So what I need to do, let's just get my light back on because it's apparently not bright enough. Uh, I got a T into the pipe. Now I have the supply line coming in on this side. So uh, yeah, we'll have the, the regulator after the pipe or the pump. Okay, so that's pumping in like so. Now over here, it's going to be a little different. I got to actually put the, the pump on this side here. Uh, as soon as I turn it right, make sure it's facing the right way. Okay, so, and then the, the pump will go on this side, but as you can see, it won't connect because it actually needs to have a piece of pipe in there. And then we do the same thing with the, the pressure regulator on this side. Like so, we've got some pipe. And actually have the pipe on the hot bar. Okay, and rotate like that so and then we can probably just put an elbow up here actually 
Those should be a valve in here somewhere. Let me check something. I think these actually work as check valves. Okay, so according to the wiki, the pressure regulator, which is this one here, is actually a, uh, a switched valve. So if it's not powered, it will not actually allow uh, gases through. So that is good. So then we can just go like that. And then we can place our container mount here. And this is going to be for filling our tanks. Or filling my tank, I should say. Because it's just me playing this one. Alright, so that, that's good. That's for the jetpack fuel. Alright then, so for pressure, I know this can... They're unsure of the maximum pressure, so we'll set this to... Uh, what was it? 30,000, I believe? So 30,000 or 30 megapixels. Really doesn't have to be that high, but the higher the pressure, the more volume I believe you can store. Nice for you to hold that. I know I can use a labor to make this quicker. You just have to listen to me click for a few seconds while I ramble on and on and on. We'll actually do it at 10. Somewhere around there, and then volume doesn't have to be that high, probably 10. That's just how fast it pumps through. Uh, since we're going to a small tank, this could be 10 as well. And this, I think, can be around 5,000, but it doesn't have to be that much because it's just jetpack propellant, which I'm probably wasting right now because I realize I'm floating in the air instead of standing on the ground. So 46, I'll go 45, 50. All right, now it's just a matter of getting some power to this. Okay, I'm done. So I'll quickly show you what, what I've done. We'll get the, the furnace up here. So I do have it wired up. It's down here. I actually forgot to set the, uh, set the whatchamacallit, the doohickey here. Uh, transformer, yes. Uh, bring this up to, again, 45, 49, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to try to have as much as I can on their own separate transformers. I have made four extra so it's not too bad so yeah i had an issue where i couldn't place a wire here so i had to move this out over here so yeah the container mount which is still in my inventory or container storage goes on top and then i'm going to place the furnace here now sadly i won't be able to reclaim any of this because i've already take off, taken out all the pipes uh i don't need the valve is there anything, anything actually in there no Okay, uh, drill, angle grinder, I'm throwing me a curveball there, oh yeah, cause it's a multiple part thingy, uh, no, oh, hang on, did you say, did you say crowbar, yeah, crowbar, okay, uh, that works. Alright, so I gotta go put this back in. I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I am back. So there's one last thing I want to do to finish this up is get a little bit of automation going in here just so I don't have to climb up there or fly up there or whatever. So I'm going to use chutes, and I love these things because they're conveyors and they require power. Uh, I do want to do some testing with them to see if... Uh, uh, you know what, I'm going to put this on the other side. Uh, hang on, hang on. I'll figure out what I'm trying to say here. Uh, to see if ice will melt in the chutes. Now, somebody will probably already knows the answer to this, but uh, it is a test I'm going to do. I'll probably be recording the next video right after this. Where'd that chute go? Did it actually go inside? Oh, really? You can actually melt stuff back down? Huh. I might be able to have to do that with uh, uh, my old... Filter cartridges, yes, that's the word I'm looking for. And I did already have to replace them because I was going to die if I didn't. I'm going to put this on this side now that I think about it. So we don't want a junction, we want a straight. And then we'll have another elbow going down. Like so, another straight. Like so, and then we're going to go into uh, an input. Where is it here? Uh, shoot in, that's an output. Inlet. Nope. I think it's a, yeah, it's a, the bin. That's right. And there we go. Now. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's the wrong one. I think I want the, uh, the inlet. 
Oh, I don't want that. Oh, that's a hand drill. Of course it is. Why would it be a wrench? I'm so used to using a wrench. Uh, sure, we'll do that. And then we'll do that. And then we'll do that. And then we we'll do. Yeah, because the inlet will automatically put in automatically. Whereas the bin, I have to hit the lever. There we go. So now I can just place my uh, my ice in there one at a time. Uh, hit the button and the oars, and then they come up the bottom. I don't need to worry about having a dispenser on the bottom. And then uh, what I'll do is I might actually put a switch here, just so I can turn this on or off. Uh, the only way I can do it right now is going over to here because I gotta hit the regulator. So I might do that, but anyways, I think this is a good place to call it here. I think uh, next episode we're going to get that miner up and running and try to get some miner automation going. I do have, I think I have enough to make some more sorters. I do have a sorter over there. Uh, my goal is to get vending machines. I'm going to need a lot of gold and more gold and more gold. And of course, I'll need a lot of iron too and all that stuff. But anyways, I think we'll call it here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.